Today's coffee question of the day is why am I getting coffee grounds in my coffee when brewing with my Keurig single serve brewer? If you're getting coffee in your coffee when you're brewing with your Keurig brewer, there's a few steps that you should take in order to remedy the problem. First one that you should do is run a, a, a small cup brew cycle through your Keurig brewer without a K cup in your brew basket. Open your brew basket, close it back up. This gets the machine ready for brewing. Choose your smallest cup size on your Keurig machine. I'm using the B70. Choose whatever the smallest cup size is on your machine and then simply run that brew cycle. Now when you do this, this is just going to run hot water through your brew basket. This is going to clear out hopefully any extra grounds or coffee residue that is inside of your brew basket. You notice mine's pretty clean right now. But what you may want to do is run this small cup cycle a few times. After you've run that small cup cycle a few times, you can make a cup of coffee and see if you've still got grounds. If you do, you want to move on to the next step. That step is to remove the brew basket from your Keurig brewer. Now this is really easy to do. Set aside the water that you have from uh, brewing. Be careful when you open this if it's hot because there may be some hot water left there. Open your brew basket, take your finger and just press upwards underneath the brew basket. This is going to remove the basket in which you put your K-cup when you are brewing your coffee. Now when you've removed that, you want to take this and just wash it out with some light soap and warm water in your sink. Give it a good washing and then take your fingers and just remove this bottom part of the brew basket. Usually you can just twist it in order to remove it. Now right here you're going to notice I still have some residual coffee left over here and you also may have coffee uh, blocking up the needle apparatus which is on the inside of the brew basket. Now if that's the case what you want to do is take a paper clip take that paper clip and then just simply press it upwards inside of that needle and just move it around a little bit. This will clear out hopefully any grounds that could be left inside of the needle apparatus right there. After you've done that again run some water through here on both sides uh, don't use too much pressure, but enough in order to get any residual grounds out. Make sure everything is nice and clean. Put your brew basket back together by simply clicking on the bottom half of it. And then you'll notice that white arrow on the top of your brew basket. Take that, match it up with the align holder uh, locator that is here in the brew basket. And after you have popped your brew basket back in, close it back up, try another brew cycle and see if you've still got coffee grounds in your coffee. If you do, the last thing that you may want to do is, if you are using a brew your own single serve option for your Keurig machine, such as my K-Cup or Echo Brew and many of the others, make sure that you are using a coarse ground coffee. If you're using a very finely ground coffee, that finely ground coffee can pass through and end up in your coffee. So use a coarse ground coffee and that'll make sure that you get the best possible brew. Last thing you may want to be aware of is uh, because of various patent issues right now with Keurig K-Cups, there can be many unlicensed K-Cup options out there for brewing your coffee. So what you want to make sure of is that whatever K-Cup you might happen to be using has a Keurig seal on it and says specifically that it is for use with a Keurig single serve brewer because some of those K-Cups may have coffee in them that is a little too lightly ground or just may not be fitting for your Keurig single serve brewer.